Good morning, church. As we learn through the next four weeks or the next four parts of the series about having, how to have these courageous conversations, I thought we also need to learn about what being courageous means. The Greek word tomao is defined as courageously venturing forward by putting fear behind and embracing the fruit that lies ahead for taking a necessary risk. The Bible uses this translation of the word to mean to have courage or to be bold. So as I mentioned over this four week series, I wanna use four different stories from the Bible that use this form of courage and how we can apply it to ourselves. So one of the conversations we're going to discuss happens in Mark 12. One of the religious teachers asked Jesus what the most important commandment was. Jesus told us his favorite two. Love God God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. The teacher understood these commandments are more important than any of the burnt offerings and sacrifices required by the law. Jesus saw how much the teacher understood and told him that he was not far away from the kingdom of God. Then no one dared to ask Jesus any more questions. No one was bold enough to continue questioning Jesus. The teacher was able to grasp this understanding and how much more important this was than any of the offering or sacrificial laws. This teacher taught about these laws all his life. He grew up learning these topics and teaching it to others because it's what he was known to, it's what he knew was to be true. But he was also able to set aside what he knew in order to have this conversation with Jesus that ended up changing his mindset. And Pastor Kathy is going to touch later on that topic regarding Nathaniel. But it's hard. It's hard to change your thoughts, your mindset, when you've believed something for so long. It's hard to have that conversation that changes a core or a foundational belief that you've held on to all your life. We cling tight to what we know for so long because that stays sturdy and a hold seems to change with every blink of an eye. Setting aside what you know to have a conversation that could potentially change your beliefs, change your thought pattern, and even change your life is very, very, very difficult. It takes courage. Going back to our definition, you have to put the fear of losing what you know behind in embracing the new fruit, the new view of things ahead by taking this necessary risk. The religious law teacher was taking this huge risk to ask Jesus what he did because he knew that either A, he was going to trap Jesus in an answer that would get Jesus persecuted, or B, he was going to receive an answer answer that would change his whole view. To To say that what Jesus said was more important than what he knew and taught for so long takes courage. The story actually has him verbally saying it, which is different than just believing it. Saying it kind of reinforces it. It took that boldness to say in front of the teachers, and it took even more boldness to say it to himself. So I challenge you this week, think about some topics that come up in your day-to-day life, and see how you can use this new form of courage, this your tomao, that we talked about today to push forward and embrace the fruit ahead. Don't forget, last week we talked about living in that shock value. This cushion helps, uh, this courage helps cushion the shock of receiving the new fruit. I will be back next week for part two.